afternoon from the Yellow Beer, or Yellow Beer, however you want to say it. It's a free camp, uh, about 90 k's north of Carnarvon. So we just pulled up here on the side of the road for the night. The highway's just there, so it might be a bit noisy tonight. But um, yeah, quite a nice little spot. And one of the main reasons it's a nice little spot is it's empty. So I got toilet block up there and uh, dump point is behind that bin there in the background. They actually got water, water containers too. But every little spot's got a uh, great fire pit and uh, cook and plate. We'll get a fire going tonight, but um, and someone's kindly left us some wood too. Yeah, so um, that's us for the night. And then tomorrow night we've got another little campsite on the side of the road, another freebie. Um, and I can't quite think of the name of that. Neren, Neren, I think it's called. But anyway, we'll bring you that one tomorrow. So uh, this one's, yeah, Yalabia. So it was called Lake McLeod on the um, initial uh, maps that we were looking at. But no sign of that wording for this particular campsite, Lake McLeod. So um, yeah, there you go. Show you the fire pit a bit later on too. And you can see I've got the little uh, lapel mic on. Uh, hopefully the sound's coming through all right. First time I've done it on the um, on the phone. But, um, yeah, and some good news you would have heard this morning, the GoPro is working again. So that rice has done the trick and taken the moisture out of it, which was playing havoc with it, doing all sorts of silly stuff. So all right, we'll get a fire going, and um, I think the missus is about to crack the wine. Is that true, missus? Yep. Yep, just had a yep. The wine is about to be cracked. Yay! <laughs> From the dark depths of the Sunseeker. Yay! All right, that's us for the night. How's that for a fire, Mrs. No, I can feel the heat. Found a bit of debris lying around. There's a lot of rubbish in there, so I've collected all the rubbish around here as well. Just burning that. That's a good fire. It's the cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only 38 degrees, so it's a bit chilly. the sun sig it's actually um it's 10 o'clock and uh we've done a little bit of exercise and uh having a cup of tea now and after the mad rush here must have been the uh, half past nine uh, toilet break and cup of teas for everyone there was about six cars two vans and a truck pulled up it's back to being um <laughs> So that's near and near. So we'll sit back and um, just watch the fire. Well, good morning, missus. We're on the road again. We've left Neren Neren rest area. It was, it was quite a ride too. Um, fairly quiet by the highway, so you get truck noise. But um, air clean and uh, bins and dump point, all the usual stuff and, and free. So it was great. But today we're going into Geraldton. Got to get a bit of fuel, a bit of food, a bit of grog. And um, then we're heading to a place called 
click ahead. We're going to try the sale of Capgrand. Yes. Because it's, um, how much a night? $20, $20 a night. Yeah, $20. Per vehicle. 20 bucks a night. The reviews are good. Fishing, beautiful sunsets. You can camp right on the beach, easy access. Um, so there's Cliff Head North, Cliff Head, and Cliff Head South. Yeah. Yeah, so um, anyway, we're going to give Cliff Head South a go for two nights. Then on to Milligan Island Campground for three nights because that's a maximum of three nights stay in both of them. Uh, all right. Yeah. And Milligan Island. We haven't done it. You got any reviews on that? We haven't seen that, have we? Yeah. Yeah, it's all right. Reviews on that too. Yeah. We're good. Yeah. Close to the ocean. And yeah, it's right. Yeah. So, um, yeah. yeah, so we'll, we'll give those a, a go. We've got five nights sort of off grid now. Um, oh, it's 20 bucks a night, but you've got to take your own water in. Um, There's toilets in both campgrounds. Just in. Which is handy. And then, um, yeah, then we go down to uh, Kuji for Jima to arrive on the, uh, yeah. on the 14th. But anyway, we'll show you a bit of um, Cliff Head South and then Milligan's Island. So, might even put a line there and see where we go. I won't get the boat off her. We'll just see how we go. Alright, see you then. <laughs> Drop back into it. And drop back into it. Especially in the sand. See what the level is then. Have a look at the map. And then see what happens when we drop back into it. Nice view. Bob's a bit excited, so it must and be good. Look at, look at that. Plum, 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 plum. So this is our camp for the night. We're at um, Cliffhead South. So uh, just behind us, there's limestone cliffs. So um, I'm just going for a little wander up the top. Let's see what the view's like from up here. So it looks like there's a bit of a path there, so I'll show you what the top is. Always a good idea to, um, to go on these little journeys and investigations at seven o'clock at night when you're in proper footwear and you're miles away from any hospital. Great idea. Whose idea was it? Oh Jenny's fired up. I think Walker away must be going. But anyway, Nelly at the top here. Just gonna show you what um oh this could be fun. Past uh, attemptees who have failed have ended up. All right, hey, that's us. <whistles> Misses. <laughs> Give us a wave. You just see us through the window. <laughs> so that's our view. Cliff head south.
I just said to Mrs. I haven't got my mic and she said well that means you've got to shut up and stop talking because I talk too much when I've got the camera but anyway we'll try and film when there's no wind it's quite a nice view when you're out of the wind all these flowers are in blossom but we'll show you a little camp up here yeah, there's lots of nice little um, camps that you can pull in and uh, you're, you're in shade so yeah along the limestone cliff all in blossom along the way too. This is one of those little campsites I was telling you about. This is just hiding in the shade. Yeah, just put a duck in, put a bit of shade, a bit of protection from the wind. Bob's your uncle. Sue's your aunt. a little look at a cave up here that we can see this is our view so we're at cliffhead north now we've just been for a wander down the beach so we've come all the way around that point up there missus is busy down there on the beach and these are the limestone cliffs that are all the way along this um this peninsula so just up here is a little uh little cave just up in there so i'm gonna have a quick look to see what's in there is no good on your feet because oh the rocks are sharp just having a look for a joe blake here anywhere see how far this little cave back goes back and see if there's any uh little bats in here no bats Seeker windows, brilliant for letting the air in, and also second as a uh, a drying rack. It's wash day here at Cliffhead. Uh, this is Milligan's Island campground. So around this side we're a little bit protected. Just show you what 50k an hour sounds like, it looks like. There it is! What's happened, Mrs? What did I do? Talk. Talk. Yeah, too much talking. Mrs. Just wants to. Right on. Oh, I'm going to get out of the view now. A little bit special, isn't it, Mrs? Look at the white sand. And where are we? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Milligan Island campground, yeah. Yes, so, uh, we were down here yesterday. It was um, I think we said it was just gusting up to uh, over 50 k's an hour. Forecast to do the same today, but um, a 
at the moment, it's quite nice. I don't know, you can feel the gas. We did have something it's hard to explain. Remember that song we used to sing in the rain? My God, the ice cream we used to consume. morning we're uh, driving out of the little campground and um, I'll show you this uh, this little footage of above uh, at Milligan's Island and I think we're one of three caravans or campers in the whole campground so I'll just throw that aerial footage in there now you can actually see but it's um, Sunday and uh, everyone packed up this morning although there wasn't many people here it must have been 20 30 people but all gone so we've got the place to ourselves so we're heading to a little town just north of Milligan's Island called Lehman. Lehman. And um, we're going to, there's a little boardwalk there. So that's today. Um, we went down the beach this morning, got some beautiful footage. It was, and we spoke to a local girl. She says, don't be fooled, it's not like that all the time. From um, Christmas onwards to about June, it's um, just full of seaweed. But yeah, hard to believe when you see the pictures. But um, tomorrow we're going for a walk. Mm, I'm just looking at the wind and uh, it's going to get up about 3 o'clock this afternoon. To? 40 knots. 40, 40 k. 40 k, sorry. Yeah, 40 yeah. k. Because it was, it was 50 k yesterday when we were down the beach, so you saw a bit of that. That was, um, that was pretty impressive, 50 k. My hair was a mess. All three strands of it. And um, yeah, so then tomorrow we're going to Green Head. It's a pretty little campsite as well, a little town. Yeah, we'll have a walk along the, I think it's called the... Three days. Three, three days walk. Three bays walk, yeah. So we're going to have a, a wander on. There's only about five k, and um, yeah, we'll see what we can see there. But, oh, beautiful! It's empty and it's so picturesque as well. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoy the photos because we certainly enjoyed taking them. See you in Lehman. Right, we're just going out. It's 50 k an hour out there, missus. Come on, let's just do it. Let's do it. Woo wee! We'll see what this microphone's like now. With this wind. So 50 k's. See how this mic goes in 50 k an hour. Winds. There we are. It's a bay, bay beach. That's a big. A couple of families down there. Have a look at those white caps out there. That's Mrs. Ready for a cup of tea. Park at Lehman. Yeah. <laughs> Clever, isn't it? There's service our heritage. This monument is dedicated to the men and women who served and sacrificed for their country. Let's be clear. 
You can tell them, Mrs. Where are we? Green, Greenhead. 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 So Greenhead, and um, we're on the Three Bays Walk. So it's actually, according to the map, it takes you through uh, Anchorage Bay, Dynamite Bay, and South Bay. So that's where we are, and we're walking all the way around. And there's a few stops and lookouts along the way. So um, yeah, Rocky Bay, Morford Bay, the first lookout. Anchorage Bay. Rock Lobster. With the waves continually battling, battering them. And we've got some caves being formed under here. Yeah. Good little hidey owls for all the little creatures, critters. What is there, missus? There's a right pong. You'll have to say it again. There's a right pong. A right pong. Just like inside our van for a while there. Stinky seaweed. Stinky seaweed. Rotting seaweed. Just going out to the point to have a look. Inlet that's covered or surrounded by a reef. And um, oh, it looks like good pasture. Where? Get around to South Bay, then we'll come back. We're going to have a cup of there because there's a nice little cafe, Mrs. Has found. You're good at finding cafes, aren't you, love? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, and bottlos. Yeah. Yeah. Priorities coffee and then wine. Wine. Um, right. We're half. Yeah, we're just commenting on how good the infrastructure is. Cemented paths all the way, mm. beach access, and they've got little seats there as well. And every now and again you come across these lookouts. Well done, WA National Parks, if that's who it is. Local council, Local council too. Council Whoever's involved. No national park. Good show. Well, national parks have done a good job so far in the parks that we've been in. That's Dynamite Bay team. So quite rightly, this is called the Three Bays Lookout. So you've got Anchorage Bay to the north, We've got Dynamite Bay just here, Anchorage Bay's right over the back there, to the north, Dynamite Bay here, and then around the corner here you've got South Bay, so the three bays look at. Yeah, that's a, well this is the Fisherman's Island lookout as it's known, but over there in the distance you can see the, uh, the islands and that's where the female sea lions go to breed. They give birth to one pup and may not breed again for another couple of years. It's, uh, it's time, missus, to pick up Gma. Hooray! She's had uh, a little bit of delay. She set off uh, three days ago. Was supposed to get here two days ago. And um, got uh, Mr. Connecting Flight in Dubai. So I had a couple of extra days in Dubai. So a 22-hour journey's turned into a 70-hour journey. But uh, she's enjoyed her time in Dubai. She's had a look around. So she's fine. She's all good. She's waiting for us at the airport. Exciting, this is, isn't it? This is, we've got flowers, we've got, well, that's really all Bacardi. we've got. Bacardi. Bacardi, Bacardi oh, as well. rum in your room. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and some milk <laughs> for a Yorkshire tea. <laughs> right, eh? So we'll show you g -Mark getting picked up. Well, it's Friday night, and look who we've got joining us on the veranda. Not it's me. Mrs. Oh, no, it's not Mrs. There's someone else here. 
Who's this? Oh. It's Jima! Hooray! Hooray! Well, cheers, Jima. Not your shoe, your Bacardi. Jima's arrived. Hooray! Is it on the air? <laughs> we noticed. <laughs> Without my love.